How does the evaluate expression field look like? So I evaluate expression if I just create a calculated field. If I create a calculated field and let's use. Let's say CFWW. And then what was it? Let's say eval. Let me create one just for testing. Okay. So worker. And eval. Expression. So if we do that. What do we have in the evaluate expression? We have the conditions on the left, right, there. If else, if it's a true, false, or a Boolean field, remember that this field has to be a true, false field. It has to be. Let me put it like this. This is a Boolean. Or a true, false field, correct? This is what it has to be here. And what happens in this one? The other one, return value, if condition is true. You can put in another. Calc field that gives the result. Correct. This is what we do here. And we have to give the default value as well. We have to specify what is going to be your default value. So first of all we choose the field type. Right. What is the output type going to be? Let's say it is going to be text. Okay, if it is going to be text and we also have to give the default value. Is it it? We have to give some default value. In this particular field, and then we keep on putting the conditions like this, a boolean. If the condition is true, then another calculated field we have to put in that gives the result. Right. So this is how we built up the evaluate expression, and I give you a tip about this evaluate expression, one that has the better performance. What should you do? If you remember, if you have multiple conditions 1, 2, 3, and 4, what should you try to achieve? Which one should come first, the one which has the most number of most number of instances or instances, or the most common one right that you expect, the most common one that you expect? Okay, so that should be at the top, because that would improve your performance drastically, right? Otherwise, what happens? And if you just follow the logical order, which is the again a very common thing to do, 0 to 1, 1, 2, 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5. Right. So you, it looks good. It is easier to read, and so on, but if most of your population is between 2 to 3. Right then, instead of 0 to 1, 1, 2, 2, 2 to 3, you should have 2 to 3 at the top. Right, because then that reduces a lot of calculations and it makes your overall performance much, 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 much better. Okay. So, yes, that is what you should aim for. This was an evaluate expression now. What was an evaluate expression band? How was that different than an evaluate expression? We didn't have a calculated field for the return. Yeah. You can just type the value that you want in the output. Isn't it very simple, straightforward? 
you do not have to create a calculated field and put it inside that calculated field, right? You don't have to derive that, just whatever value you want. Put it in the return value if condition is true, write similarly for the default value. Just type it in. Do not have to store it or derive it using a calculated field. That's the best part about evaluate expression band. Then we talked about lookup range back. What was that? What is a lookup range band? What does it do? A lookup, range, band, type of calculated field. What does it do? It's usually used, typically used, for numeric. Instances numerically. Okay. Yes, very feels correct. So what does it do? Because the range in the numeric range into the bands that we want perfect. Yes, it converts the numeric ranges into bands right. So yeah, if it was a range, like maybe, if it's, if it's a numeric range, any example of a numeric range? And if any data, that is, that can be numeric, that can assume any value. You have worked with some of that. Like the number of years, or number of years. Yes, yes, number of years, experience right. You are talking about experience of a worker right number of years they have spent with the organization. Perfect, yes, what else? Age. Yes, age is a, is a numeric value correct. It can be. So you can. You can categorize the your workers based on the age right. It's the between. So you have workers between 22 to, let's say, 65 years of age. Right, that is your range. So between 22 to 30, you have categorized as 1. Between 30 and 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 65, right. So you can categorize your workers based on the age. Perfect. Yes, what else? Any other example? Salary. Salary or compensation, correct. Let salary or compensation can also be one of the parameters where you can do a very similar thing. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Correct. So these are some of the sum of the fields where you have numeric ranges right. And you can categorize them based on. I mean, you can convert them into bands, great. Now. Today we are going to talk about a calculated field where we are able to look into another business object. Now till now. What did we do till now? We looked, we converted, manipulated, etc. The objects on the same business object right. We were looking at the worker business object or expense report business object and whatever field we did, whatever calculation we did, well, restricted to that business object only.